Christmas is Anita Chuckle, and this week on our Advent Chat, we are talking about peace, because that is the second week of Advent. We're waiting on Jesus to bring us peace. And you know, back in the day, peace meant a whole different thing, if you know what I mean, when I was a youngster. But God can bring us peace each and every day if we just allow him, even when we have all kinds of things happening in our life. Maybe you have a really frazzled schedule this Christmas. You're running here and there and you have people coming and you don't even know where you're going. You can still have peace because some of us, we don't have peace because we worry too much. We worry, worry, worry. There's just too many worries out there. You might have worries about finals week. You might be uh, wondering why can I have peace when the casserole's burning and the kids are screaming in the kitchen? What about when we don't have money to buy gifts? Yes, you can have peace then too. Or when you are alone, you might not have peace. You, Your kids aren't calling you. Darn them, they should be, but they're not calling you. And you know what? God is our peace on earth and our mercy mild, and he is our silent night. If you think about it, we should be joining those angels who brought us peace on that first Christmas, right? They said, Christ is born, glory to God, and peace on earth. And they brought that uh, that message to the shepherds. Now, you know the shepherds. They were the lowliest of lowly people back then. They were probably really dinky. And they had all these sheep going, bah, bah, bah. and they, they were just out there probably round a fire. And pretty soon, all of a sudden, here come the angels. And it says in Luke 2, suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared. Uh, with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those who his favor raise. And you know what? That first night, we sometimes sing silent night because it's a peaceful song. Well, that first, that first night when Jesus was born, it was peaceful, even though he was in the stable. And it might have been kind of stinky there, and it, it might have had all kinds of animals. We don't know. But I can guarantee that there was peace, peace in Mary's heart, peace in in and Joseph's heart and when the shepherds showed up I know they felt the peace because they knew that their savior had been born that night right there and they were witnessing it and you know what you can witness his peace as well if you just let him just trust in him and it says in Colossians 3 that let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts and since the members of one body, you were in call to peace and be thankful. So what are you thankful for? Do you know that when you have an attitude of gratitude, it does help you get peaceful. Perhaps you could get up uh, tomorrow morning or even tonight before you go to bed and thank God for all the wonderful things he has blessed upon you and the peace that we have in our hearts, all right? So, um, you know, there's a song that I'm guessing maybe some of you have sung before, and it's that song that goes, Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. God is our Father, brothers and sisters are we. Let me walk with my sisters and brothers in perfect harmony. Oh, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Well, this has been Mrs. Anita Chuckle. I hope you will have some peace this week um, during your busy holiday season. Just remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. And make sure you take time to chuckle. <laughs>